Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this haircut right here. It's just clean on the sides and the back. It's a disconnected undercut like usual, but this time I've got it going kind of straight back. And it's also longer than the previous video uh, and a few different techniques, so you can stick around for that. Before we get to the haircut, I do have a new, well it's kind of new at this point, it's a Blue Mind discussion group on Facebook where people all around the world are joining to discuss their issues with hair or just to post their hairstyles and stuff like that and people are responding and it's doing really great. So I urge you guys to join that. The link is in the description down below. And now I shall start the video. So here you go. So today I'm still going for the undercut, but I've decided to have a slight fade on the sides, uh, going from a number two to a number three. We're starting with a number three guard for the sides and the back. Next up, using a comb helps to distinguish where you need to disconnect the haircut. Scissors are more accurate than razors and will help perfect the fade around the sides and the back. Thinning shears are used on the back to blend the long hair on top with the short hair on the bottom. Next up, we've got our number two guard on and we're going back around the bottom of my sides and back. Number zero is used just to tidy up the overall cut. After the haircut is finished, it's time to move on to styling. Remember to use heat protectant when dealing with heat products. While my hair is damp, I'm using a matte finish Stronghold product that's going to help keep my hair back after it's dry. Use a blow dryer to mold the hair into a backwards position. Using a straightener is not required, but if you're going for a slick back, it's really going to help keep everything nice and neat. Start from the back and work your way up to the front. To finish off the slick back, we're using a bit of a shine product. Now in my opinion, Mr. Pompadour's peppermint pomade would have worked better than this water wax. But I forgot to bring Mr. Pompadour with me to Italy, so I don't have their products. If you want any more information on their peppermint pomade, check the description below because it's really good stuff. And 
And there we have it, the style is done. All right guys, well there you go. Hope that you found it helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, remember to check out the Blue Mind Discussion Group on Facebook, link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see everybody next time.